You answer that last time, didn't we? Yeah. Become less than himself yeah. and still remain God. Yeah, God cannot become less than himself because, you know, in Christianity, they will tell you that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. And then people say he is God. It's like mm. he can't be God and be sent by God to come and die for your sins. And, and then when he was... When, it, when that hour was coming, he was praying, oh my God, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Then he gets killed. Then he goes back to himself and sits on his <laughs> right-hand side of himself. It doesn't make sense. And the Lord's Prayer says, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. So he separates himself. So he can't be God because to be less than yourself means you're not the greatest. Um, or the the you know the the most you can't, you, yeah you can't be mm. God and be less than yourself. I mean, if you could kill God, you know how much how Satan would cause on a planet in this universe. If you could kill God, like it's ridiculous, man. Yeah, um, that's <laughs> the, yeah like like that's another thing. Like imagine if you were in your house yeah, and there was trouble, you wouldn't go send your son to go mm. deal with the trouble. Like, <laughs> if you're a real God, you're going to go to the door, innit? So to say he loved him so much, if he loved him so much, he should have come down, come down himself. That's, 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 that, that, that's why the man says he roll, he's got to win. Because, yeah, as a, as Sakhen's saying, like, if someone's breaking into your house, you ain't going to send your children down there to go and deal he with actually shows situation. weakness. Yeah, you're going to deal with it yourself, man. Like, why is he sending his only begotten son down? Why didn't he come himself, man? You know yeah. what I mean? Simple and then that's why faith. the Muslim in the Quran say you can't ha Allah can't have a son. Like yeah. like how do you have a son? <laughs> Is it Ibn or Walid? Because Walid, they're yeah, two yeah. different words for son. And you can have an adopted son, but God can't have a son because yeah, I'll feel sorry for the woman that because I can't <laughs> I don't want to go there. But I'm just saying, like, it, it actually doesn't make any sense to say that. God came down or sent his son. And in some places, he comes down himself. Mm -mm. Like, walking to, in the garden. To get walking. props. Yeah. Only when there's props and, like, when it, when, when man's giving him, yeah, props, like, are oh, you done good? That, that, yeah. yeah. Or and when he's mashing up things, that's when he comes down. Yeah. And he's jealous as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How can you be jealous of your creation? You know, and it grieved him. Like, mm -hmm. he was sad because he created um, man in it. Like, yeah, man. man was sinning and rubber. It's like... If you know everything, why did you make the mistake in the first place to create this being that's going to have evil? And then when evil's happening, you come and clean up and mm. then you kill everybody and everything that didn't have anything to do with it. I'm talking like in the flood the story. Flood, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? Adam and Eve did the crime mm. and then <laughs> he comes and kills everybody. The serpent, the, sl the snake, which is another funny one. This snake... Um, and, and Eve speaking to a snake in the garden where there, there's no snakes that can talk. No reptiles. Yeah, and <laughs> can you imagine as a woman if you saw a big snake coming to talk to you, like, reality, you're going to run. <laughs> no one's going to stand it. Again, let me, let me tell you what, it's a misinterpretation of um, the word doesn't say nakat, it doesn't say snake, you know, it says um, the whisperer, yeah, because there was, it was somebody speaking to her, whispering. Um, which is really going back to Ningizida. When I say stuff, I like, lose people in it. But yeah. Um, yeah, there was somebody in the garden who was speaking and she understood what he was saying. And that language they were speaking, she to he told her that God is lying to you. Mm. And in that situation, because he said that if, if you eat the fruit, you're going to die that day. And... Um, he was like, nah, God is a liar. You can eat it, you're not going to die. And they ate it and they didn't die. So who was actually telling the truth? Um, and then yeah. Genesis, when you go into Genesis 3.22, it says that, behold, man has become like one of us. This is meant to be God speaking. So who's the us he's, he's referring to? Mm. Now man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. What's he talking about? That whole story doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, think about this. I have to tell people this, right? So God put the tree in the garden, and then he put this being called a serpent and he says he's the most cunning being on the planet at the time, yeah? And then he puts Adam and Eve in the garden, knowing that he created the, 
garden. He created the tree. He created the serpent. And he knows that the serpent is the most cunning. And then he, the serpent comes along and cons Eve to eat the fruit. And then he comes along and punishes everyone. But it's like, why did you put the tree in, in the garden in the first place? People will say to test them, to know. But it's like, if you already know everything, there's no point of a test. Because if I'm giving you a test and I already know what you're going to do, what the answer is going to be, that's not a test. Mm. So, you know, these are all the stories that they make up because they don't understand the true story of what's actually really happening. Yeah, um, I know. You're... That, that's like having a, a children's party for like, you know, three year olds. You have this big chocolate cake in the middle and it's in tell the children, don't touch the chocolate cake, but you can have everything else. You know the children are going to trouble that cake, mate. You know what that's I mean? Right, yeah. God is meant to be all knowing. He knows, yeah, well, what's the point of putting the tree in the garden to test? He already knows the end result. So yeah. who's, he, who's he proving the point to? To the yeah. angels then what? Like, I told you, man. I told you they were going to take it. <laughs> What's all that about, man? And now, like, there's another story with the Job incident. He made a bet with yeah. God. To, he said um, he's going he's gonna to test man and prove that they're not worthy. Mm. And it's like, how can you bet with God? Like, it doesn't yeah, make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's so many. We can go from cover to cover, Bible, Quran, any of the religious books, and ultimately it comes down to these are extraterrestrial mm. stories that have been passed down from generation to generation, mistranslated, and today people are confused and they're lost. That's what the word babble means, to confuse yeah, you. confusion. And um, that's why, obviously, in the story of, uh, you mentioned earlier on, Genesis 11, when their tongue was confused, they couldn't speak, they were babbling. And that's what the Bible mm. is today. It's just a, people are babbling and just like not able to understand or overstand what's actually really taking place or going on. Yeah. Just a small point there. Like, when you ask people like the Christians like, or Muslim, like, where is God? Is God everywhere? They say, yes. So he's in hell as well. They say, no. So that means he can't be everywhere then. They choose when You know what I mean? Yeah. If it, omnipotent, omnipotent, omnipresent means everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Every means, everywhere means everywhere. So he should be in hell as well. <laughs> if you ain't in hell, you ain't everywhere. They so, pick and choose. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I said this the last time, but like, imagine yeah, two people are in a the car, they've got a cross hanging on the mm. dashboard, they have an accident, one person survives and one person doesn't survive. People will say, thank God for the person that survived. <laughs> like, where was he? Mm. Why didn't he save both of them? Mm. Like, another thing, like you go to hospital, the doctor will operate on you, cure you and then you say thank god but it was the doctor but mm. people are going to say it was the doctor it was god that gave the doctor the ability <laughs> to cure the person but if that was the case why not prevent the whole accident and the illness and everything in the first mm. place if god can get rid of all the problems in the world and they say he can why doesn't he get rid of all the sin in the world and all the problems in the world because these are limiting lim gods with limitation um, they just, you know, what actually is interesting because we talk about God of the Bible and the God of the Quran, but we have to tell you what they're trying to really convey. In our language, uh, that's called the all, or mm. all, mm -hmm. pa pa ot. Pa, pa, yeah. That's all existing, e everything is a part of the all because you can't take away from the all and you can't add to the all. And we are all part of the all at different vibrations on different levels. And you can come back again over and over again until you make the grade to go and become eventually one with Pa'ot or the all, you know. So the concept of God in the Bible and in the Quran, because it's extraterrestrials walking, talking, making mistakes, being jealous, and doing all of these things, they, it's, they make God look bad because mm. as we keep asking all of these questions, um, no God in the sense of a being that is omnipotent, omnipresent, and knows everything will make mistakes. You know, if you know everything, it's like, how do you make mistakes? Mm. You can't. 
Yeah, so... Well, he grieved, he, in Genesis, isn't it? He grieved man, he grieved him in his heart that he created man. So, like, it, that means he didn't even know that man was going to end up the way they were going to end up, like, fall to the waist at all. He didn't yeah. know all that. So, he felt, he felt sorry in his heart. How so, can he have a heart? Yeah, that's another question. God's got a heart. You know what I mean? It's, like, crazy. So, you could see this, this concept of God came from man's imagination, his own idea, like, you know what I mean? Mm. They don't want to admit that, yeah, these guys are extraterrestrials. Some are flesh eaters, some didn't eat flesh. Some were agreeable, some were disagreeable. Uh, yeah. that's, that's, Go ahead, bro. That's, that's the main thing, man. Some came for holiday, some came to, for minerals, some came to hunt, some came for food. Mm. <laughs> some came for a vacation. Yeah. Yeah, it's, just, it's real.